Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at first. First is a very useful method that returns the first item. At first glance, first is a very simple concept to understand, but as we dive deep, I think you'll see there's a lot of hidden functionality with first that maybe you didn't know about. As always, let's start with the basics. Collect, one, two, three, four. So we have a collection with four numbers inside, and we call the first method on it. Let's check out the results. Pretty self-explanatory. You get one, because one, of course, is the first element inside this array. So, so far, so good. You probably already knew that. However, you may not know that you can pass in a callback. So we could say function element. In this callback, you need to return true or false. And what you're going to check is if it meets the criteria. The very first true result that it gets, that's what it's going to return. So if we said return element is greater than one, let's check out the results. So two. So two is the first item that is greater than one. So think about the cycle. On the first cycle, it's going to be equal to one. Is one greater than one? No. Okay, so then it cycles again. Is two greater than one? Yes. So as soon as that hits true, it returns that item immediately. But what if you have an empty collection? If we return that, we get null. And sometimes that's okay. But sometimes you end up with an empty collection and you need a default figure. So what you can do is as a first argument, you'll actually pass in null. As a second argument would be your default. Let's just say 1000. So if we run that again, we get 1000 back. So if we had some items in here, let's say one, two, three, then of course we'll get one, which is the first item. However, if for some odd reason our collection is empty, we have a default to fall back on. Now you can use both of those in combination as I'm gonna show you right now. So let's bring this back. We'll say function element. And in our closure, we're gonna say return element must be greater than three. And of course we get 1000, which is our default. Let's say if we add it one and two, we still get 1000 because one is not greater than three and two is not greater than three. So it falls back to our default. Of course, if we added a four, now we get four because four is greater than three. Now, a very important concept to understand about first is that it does not return a collection. It returns a single item. So if we try to daisy chain other methods to this, such as map, for example, everything blows up. You cannot daisy chain anything after first because again, first actually returns an item and not a collection. 